Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 Plus, and today I will show you how you can record your screen on this tablet. So to get started, you'll want to pull down your notification panel straight from the top, expand it, and look for the toggle, which for me is right over here. This is the default location of the toggle, so for you it should be right about the same place. Once you find it, you can tap on it to start recording immediately, or you can hold it like I just did. And this will take you to the settings. Now I do recommend going into the settings the first time around just because you can uh, quickly gauge on how it is set up. Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, so um, quickly gauge how it's set up and from there edit it out accordingly. So as an example, video quality is set to be atrocious at 480p. Hopefully this isn't the default settings right here, because that would be quite embarrassing on a device that supports uh, uh, 120 Hz refresh rate with uh, over 1080p resolution. So for this, I do recommend going with a 1080p, the highest one. Sound, uh, it's completely up to you. You can have no sound, media sound or media and mic. So choose whichever one you want. Though the last one, the media and mic, I do recommend using some kind of headphones for this, wireless or wired, doesn't really matter. The reason for this is uh, when the device is recording and you have media sounds, media sounds would be considered anything that the device is playing, but it records it on a software level inside of the device. So what you're hearing, uh, you could have completely broken speakers and the device would still record the sound uh, of media. Um, but because let's be honest, you most likely don't have broken speakers. When you have this selected and you don't use headphones, uh, it's gonna record your voice as well or whatever the microphone picks up and microphone will be picking up media sounds because it will be going through speakers. So it will create an echo effect that you might not want exactly. So that's why I'm rec recommending using headphones for this or just stick with media sound only. And the last thing that we have right here is the selfie size right here. So uh, this is the uh, the actual size of the selfie that will create. Uh, you have a toggle once you start recording to turn it on or off. Uh, it's completely up to you. But once you turn it on, it's going to have the exact size as you can see right now on the screen. So you can increase this if you want a bigger one. As you can see, okay, this is still exact size. So this is going to be the, the size that it's going to have on the screen, though the location of it is completely up to you. You can just grab it and drag it around the screen once it records. And last thing, I guess right here we have show tops and touches on the screen. When enabled uh, on the recording, you will see where the device, uh, where the screen of the device was being pressed, how it was pressed. And like if you have dragging motion, it will be visible. So I'm gonna keep this on and now let's go back to the toggle once we went through the settings. We simply click on it. Gives me again the pop-up right here. I'm gonna switch to media sounds only. Start recording and it gives me a countdown. I can skip it if I want to. So there is our, as you can see, under the pointer. This white dot, this is to show me where on the video where I am pressing the dis display. Additionally, we can draw on this, as you can see. and uh, turn it off you can add that selfie like i mentioned so there we go you can see it on the recording and like i mentioned also you can drag it around if you want to additionally in here you have a pause option so you can uh, pause temporarily the screen recording open up some kind of app let it load whatever it's doing maybe insert your password if that is something that you're going to be doing and then you can resume again by tapping on a red circle. And once you're done recording uh, all together, you can just click on the square right here. This will automatically save the recording to your gallery application. So I'm gonna quickly open that up and I can find my recording somewhere in here. So there we go, screen recordings, click on it. It's already playing. So I'm just gonna tap on it to expand it and you can now see it. So anyway, as you can see, this is the recording and that is how you go about it. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.